Hi, welcome to our February PMOD monthly video. PMOD monthly is the video series where we just demonstrate PMOD projects and try to show you guys all the different stuff we can do with digital and flying of PMODs. I'm going to hand it over to James Colvin to talk about the project. I'm here to make sure you know to watch for the promotional code at the end of the video. But you can get 30% off all the PMODs that we talk about. I'm James Colvin, and today we're going to play a game of Simon Says. Normally when you play a game as Simon Says, you end up looking somewhat silly as you wave or not wave your arms about as Simon dictates. This time though, we get to achieve a much more refined look by calmly flipping switches following the given pattern of lit LEDs as this electronic Simon dictates. In this project, I use three different PMODs, the PMOD SWT, the PMOD DA4, and the PMOD AMP2. Let's check them out. The PMOD SWT is an input PMOD with four slide switches. Each slide switch, when flipped to the logic high position, tells the host board that the corresponding LED now needs to be turned on. Next, we have the PMOD DA4. This is a digital to analog converter, also known as a DAC, which receives digital data and translates it into an analog signal. Since the PMOD DA4 has eight output channels, when a switch is flipped or Simon decides to light up a particular LED, a signal is sent from the host board to the DA4 to tell that corresponding LED to be powered on at full brightness. Because it is a digital to analog converter, we could have instead sent a half strength analog signal or even a 7 8 strength analog signal, but because we wanted to achieve maximum shininess, we instead sent that full strength signal to the LED. Finally, we have the PMOD AMP2. This is an audio amplifier module that can either receive an analog signal or a pulse width modulated signal that is representative of the monophonic sound that you want to recreate. The nice thing about this module is that it's a great way to get started playing with sound since all you need to provide to it is an analog waveform rather than having to provide the specific data bits and clocks that are used in other audio formats such as I2S. If you combine the PMOD AMP2 with a microphone, you could create an audio recording demo if you wanted to. But let's get to the fun part of the show, the project demonstration. This Simon Says has two different game modes, Easy and Hard Mode. On Easy Mode, Simon, the Chipkit WF32, will present a series of LED flashes. Initially, it'll start out with just one LED flash. Each time you successfully guess what LED Simon presented, it'll increase the pattern length by one while maintaining the pattern that it's given you. So for example, you might start out with just LED 4, then it will go 4, then 2 then 427, then 4275, maintaining its pattern. The hard mode, on the other hand, does not let you maintain your pattern. Instead, you'll start out with one particular LED, such as LED 5, then next time you might have 8, then 2, then 7, then 4, then 5. It'll change every single time. The random pattern used by Simon is internally generated by the Chipkit WF32. This guarantees that the LED sequence submitted by Simon will never be the same twice. So if the PMOD switches to select your matching pattern of LEDs, and the PMOD DA4 is to light up those LEDs, what is the PMOD AMP2 for? It adds the fun factor to the Simon Says game by playing a music note for each corresponding LED, as well as a victory sound when you get it correct, and a defeat sound when you get the pattern wrong. Oh no! All right, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to learn more about anything we discussed or to go recreate the project yourself, please see the links below. And remember, you can get 30% off on all of the PMODs we discussed in this video. Just go to store.digilantinc.com and enter in the promo code at checkout. The promo code is PMODMONTHLYFEB16. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more cool project videos. Thanks.